Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you are yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And now the news in details. Lai Mohammed warns Nigerians, behave yourself how we will extend the lockdown. The Honorable Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has sounded a note of warning to Nigerians why the country observes lockdown. The minister said if the residents of Abuja, Lagos State and Ogun State do not behave themselves, the federal government might be left no choice but to extend the lockdown past the initial 14 days. Lai Mohammed, a member of the Presidential Tax Force, on COVID-19 featured in a forum organized in the federal capital territory Abuja to update Nigerians about the pandemic. The minister said if we don't behave ourselves, there is a likelihood that the lockdown will be extended. But if we behave, there may not be extension and I hope we do so. The minister stated further, if we stay at home for two weeks and we are doing everything we are supposed to do, we should be able to effectively contain the disease. Therefore, my appeal to Nigeria is that they should obey the directive on social distancing, personal hygiene, and shown gatherings. After two weeks, we will resume our normal life. He ended it by saying, but if they think it is a joke, then we may have to stay at home more than two weeks. As at Friday, April 3rd, 2020, the total no number of confirmed cases stands at 190. 168 active cases, 20 discharged, and 2 dead. So guys, you can imagine, look at what the federal government is talking about. Look at what Lai Mohammed is talking about. These people, they are so wicked. Like, they are so heartless. How can you come on social media and start talking like this as if you don't have any, any conscience at all? That if Nigerians do not behave themselves, they will extend the lockdown. This is crazy. In fact, I wish this guy can be positive, can be coronavirus positive, that he will know the level at which people are suffering in the States. This is crazy. It is him and his family that will be locked down. People are suffering every day. People are suffering and here you are. The federal government are enjoying themselves. These people are heartless set of people. How will a government, how will somebody made mention of that? That if people do not behave themselves, that they will be locked down. They, they, they said Nigeria, they asked for lockdown, a total lockdown in Lagos, Abuja, and, and uh, other places. And they did not provide any necessary things that they need to provide. They want to behave like people of other countries, the way they do their stops. Forgetting that their own situation is so different. Those people, they are wicked. You know, it, it, Lai Mohammed is trying to use power. He's trying to use power in this case. And it is uncalled for. It is uncalled for. How will somebody be talking like that? They talk as if they don't have a conscience. That's, that's the way I can see it. They ask for total lockdown. And people are not working. And there is no help from anywhere. They said they distributed money. And we don't know where the, where the money go. Who are they distributing the money to? Are they the Northerners? Or who? 
This is total wickedness. And Nigerians are saying that useless people is where the city, citizens are. Ha. That you people will have mouths but close borders and taking harder precautionary measures that other countries did at the initial state to avoid COVID-19 from entering their country. You people could not do it but to disturb Nigerian citizens when you people have already imported the virus into the country. That is where you will show power. Which is true. They are the cause of everything that is going on in the country right now. When they are supposed to stay at home, stay in Nigeria, they will not stay. They will prefer to be traveling here and there. And here we are. They've imported the virus into the, into the country. And Nigerian people are suffering because of this. It is just so uncalled for. It is bad. You can imagine this guy is now on social media talking that Nigerians should behave themselves. How would they behave themselves? Because people are, are, are dying of hunger. There is no food. There is no money to feed themselves. And they are talking that if they did not take, if they, if they, if they, if they did not caution them, themselves that they will extend the lockdown. It shows that they don't have, they, they don't have a Nigerian's at heart. That's just the meaning. This is not, this is not good, in fact. This is not good. It, it, what it says is just indirectly is threatening Nigerians. Lai Mohammed is trying to threaten Nigeria. He's trying to use power. Because he is in charge. You know, it is crazy. That's the problem we are facing in Nigeria. Our leaders are operating with power. And they are enforcing that power, which is not supposed to be so. They are enforcing power. They forget that everybody has their own rights. They are forgetting that. They ask them to stay at home. No source of income. Nothing to feed their families. And they, they, they order for a total lockdown. What kind of country is that? They are trying to imitate other country when they know that their country are not to their to, to the level of those countries that they are they are imitating. It is crazy. It is crazy. I pray that one day our country will be better than this. That is our prayer. And all these old old cargoes, they should just pack themselves somewhere else. And let's just try the youth and see what they are capable of doing. We are tired of all these old cargoes. We are tired of all these grand grandfathers that are operating our government, that are operating Nigeria. We are tired of them. Because the way they are doing their stuff is so bad. And it is affecting common man. It is affecting everybody in the country. And they did not see anything that is wrong about it. That's the unfortunate part of it. A graduate of 10 to 15 years, still looking for a job. Is it not bad? A graduate with a first class, looking for a job, is very bad. A pensioner that, has, that is supposed to collect his or her own money with peace. They are still hoeing them. These people, they are full of corruption. They don't have conscience at all. It looks as if their conscience is dead. May God help our country, Nigeria. It is only God that can help our country, Nigeria, with the look of things, with the way everything is going on right now. We're just praying that this spread should this spread disease, this virus should be should be stopped, should be over. That people will be able to come back and start working and start feeding their family. Because if we rely on this federal government, they will put us ashamed. 
that's the thing so guys what do you think about this news what is your own take your comment is highly appreciated kindly drop your comments at the comment section below for those who subscribe want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing we we'll say god bless you if you're yet to do so please kindly press the subscription button and please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news you will be the first person to watch our latest news god bless you